in Oklahoma that reported it 250 years ago. Doesn't matter. There's now a tornado in the local news. They say global warming did it. If there's a storm, global warming did it. Uh, if it freezes, you know, they're, they're having unseasonably cold temperatures because the sun just cooled down. They call it, say, oh, it's colder because of global warming. And so, see, it's all just real emotional, real stupid. So when people in a year or two see seven, eight dollar milk, they'll go, oh, God, global warming. It's not that the big dairies with, with federal regulations shut down the smaller dairies and jacked up prices. It's not that the currency's devalued and so it costs more. It's not inflation. It's global warming. Real simple. And people won't even remember why they think it's global warming when they see riots over people not having food or, or people not getting their welfare checks. They will just remember kind of in the back of their mind, oh, it's global warming. Here in Texas, my whole life growing up, sometimes in the late spring, early summer, there's big rainstorms and there'll be this haze all over the cities and all over the country. And my dad's a pilot. He knows that's haze, you know, a, a, a private pilot. And I remember growing up, you know, we'd get the weather reports and they'd say there's low lying haze or there's, you know, you know, humidity's high today. Every time in Texas now that there's haze, regular water condensation haze, they get on the news and they say, Austin is covered by smog. And then you can go up in an airplane or drive hundreds of miles. It's the same haze. It's, it's water. Sometimes there's hazy days. Sometimes there's misty clouds. Not anymore. Now it's global warming. So let's go ahead and play these two trailers here for the listeners. You can listen to it for uh, people who are watching PrisonPlanet.tv. You'll see it live. We also have these videos posted up at InfoWars.com if you want to watch it there and you're just a radio listener. It's posted, of course, up there on the site for those that aren't watching live. Here it is. In my life, I've seen New York City under full quarantine. The Midwest overrun, devastated by pests. Plague sweep across California. Now stop and right there. What happened? Stop right there. You see... Oh, we got 30 million illegal aliens with drug-resistant TB, with uh, leprosy now back in the U.S., trichinosis, brain worms now killing people all over the place, uh, all this hepatitis spreading in. What do they do when the illegal aliens in Mexico crap on the crops and people get hepatitis from it? That's what did it. They just, federal regulations shut down U.S. crops. Nothing to do with it. See, oh, if plagues come in, it's global warming. If the globalists release plagues, it was global warming. Okay, go ahead and start it over again. Here it is. And then what happened next was something none of us saw coming. It became a race against time to save our future, to even have a future. It's the year 2100, and I survived. To change the future, first you have to imagine it. Tuesday at 9, 8 central on ABC. So they say this is the future. They're making school kids. I looked it up. I knew they'd do it, and I Googled it. They have school kids are being made to watch this under federal grants nationwide. They set them down and scare them. And if you give up your carbon taxes, track and trace everything you do, give up all of your rights, give up all of your liberties, give up all of your freedoms, let bureaucrats come in your house, join the Obama Youth Brigades, have everything you do chronicled and tracked on your new uh, carbon credit ration card, where even if you have money, when you buy over the amount of steaks and ice cream or beer or carbon-causing food, that then you get an extra tax on it. That's the new global sales tax. They've announced this years ago. Now they're just announcing it in, in, in mainstream media. It was in academic papers a decade ago. See, that's how I knew all this. Now it's being announced. And so the kids are just scared to death. They say, what do I do? And the school says, you report on your parents. And the New York Times says, oh, look at the children. They tell their mother not to take a bath. It's too high a carbon footprint, too high a water footprint. And the mother goes, yes, I love my five-year-old telling me what to do. It's great. Then once the kid's trained to tattle on them for that, then it's do they have drugs? Do they spank you? And then parents don't spank anymore. Then it's do your parents raise your voice? And the little snot-nosed eight-year-old gets drug off to a pedophile CPS rape room after they tattle, but they don't care because the kid's out of the school now, doesn't warn the other eight-year-olds, hey, don't tell uh, on, on your parents for yelling at you or a big fat pedophile rapes you. I mean, literally, this is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Hell pits of evil. Let's go to the next one for 2010, 2100. And it's even worse, by the way, uh, this, this uh, TV show funded by Soros that's free, that they're trying to counter our viral marketing system. This thing is all over the Internet, all over everywhere. Uh, and uh, they're having viewing parties for it. It's called Home Project. And it's teaching you your evil and your carbon footprint. I mean, this is a full takeover. They're, they're coming with the new tyranny. Imagine if the Soviets would have figured this out. Oh, we have to restrict your, re your resources. Oh, we have to kill you. Oh, we have to have one-child policy for the earth. 
That's what the communist Chinese do. They were funded by the IMF and World Bank and the big Rockefeller Foundation to do that on record. Now you hear about Ted Turner and, and George Soros and David Rockefeller uh, and all these, and Oprah Winfrey meeting at the Rockefeller Foundation two weeks ago for this. They mean business. This is the mega tyranny. Let's go to the next clip. Oh, Rome fell. The Aztecs fell. New York is abandoned. I picture some explorer coming to Manhattan saying, those ignorant people, how on earth could they have ever expected to, and pause. to survive? Exactly. The system tells us getting compact cities, they get control of us, and then they say, we're all going to die in the compact cities if we don't give up all our rights to this social engineer. See, he knows best. He knows how to plan your future. And when you talk to these people, they get off. They're going to be the planners. After they already planned this civilization, now they're going to plan the new one as they try to make it where people that buy new property in the country can't grow crops on it. See, oh, we want it to be sustainable, but then they don't want it to be sustainable. You see how these people operate? They New land being sold all over the U.S. you can't farm on. They have incentives so you can't move to the country. So they make you go in the city and then tell you, oh, you're bad, you've got to die, or at least have only one child, and then be licensed if we say so. Go back to the control freak. Saying, those ignorant people, how on earth could they have ever expected to, to survive? We are at a crossroads. We're running out of oil, we're running out of water, we're running out of atmosphere, we're poisoning the whole planet. All right, stop right there. We're running out of atmosphere. See, paying to breathe. And this guy's saying you can't have carbon dioxide that creates oxygen in the plants. We will run out of breathe with this son of a bitch. We'll be right back.